Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to activate the chroma key and green screen option in vMix. It's a very simple process. Let's get started. First things first, we're going to want to go ahead and upload our content that has the green screen. Um, in many cases, people like to use their webcams with green screens behind them. At the moment, I don't have that available, so I'm going to upload a video with the green screen option on it. It'll be the same process. We're going to click on add input. And instead of me adding the video, you would add the camera if it's a webcam with the green screen behind you. So we're going to add the video with the green screen, which is this one right here. It's a video of a person moving their phone, but it's got the green screen option. Now, once we have that added, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to click on the gear icon right on the video. We're going to click on color key. We're going to check that option, and we're going to click on number two. Number two automatically does the best system cutout for the green screen. It'll remove it, and we'll have that ready to go. So once we remove that, we've activated the green screen, and we can now upload our content there. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on add input. We're going to click on blank. It'll create number two, which it says color. We're going to click on the gear icon, and we're going to click on multi-view. And the very first one has to be the picture we upload. But the second one is going to be the content. So we're going to click that there, and then we're going to click on add. So we're going to move that. And now the last step is we're going to add our image of what we want to show behind us. Uh, it can be either a beach, a space, you know, an office, the, another town, another country. But for now, we're just going to add a video of a mixer. So we're going to click on add input, image. We're going to click on browse. We're going to click on pictures. And we're going to click on the studio right here. I'm going to click on OK. And it's automatically added. Now what we do is we go back to number two where this is a color. We click on the gear icon. Multi-view automatically shows up. And number one will be the background. We're going to click on it. And we're going to add. We're going to click on the picture that we've added. So boom. We click on add. And now to make it go live, we just click on one. And just like that, our green screen or our studio is showing up through the green screen option. So it's a very simple process. We have to first click on. Uh, we have to add the, the view of the green screen. Then what we have to go is we click on the gear icon, color key, enable color key, click on number two, and it automatically selects it, and it removes the green screen option. Then we click on add blank, and it'll create that. Then we click on gear icon, multi-view. So number one is always going to be the picture, the picture of the background, either the beach, the country, whatever you want behind you with the green screen. And then number two will be the green screen itself. So here you would select your webcam. And then we click on X. So I'm going to, for the sake of the video, I'm also going to add another picture so you have a better idea as well. So we're going to click on add input. We're going to click on image, browse, and let's add for now this one right here. Of another mixer of radio. We're going to click on number two, the color icon, or the, or the gear icon, I should say, sorry, right next to the monitor. And then number one is the picture. So we're going to remove, we're going to click on that one and we're going to click the title of the picture we just added. We're going to click on add. And just like that, the video automatically shows up with the green screen of the picture we added. So it would be the same process for your webcam. You would have the beach behind you um, once you've added those steps. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.